So today we are in our friend's house and this is my first experience and we're trying to watch and I will try to help also to our friend to see how to harvest honey. So here is our friend. Yeah, and she does everything and we're just gonna be here. Thank you for allowing us to come and film this. Oh, I'm happy to have you come. This has been really exciting. Yes, yeah, so let's, what's the first step? So the first step is Sorry. getting um, the the frames that you want to harvest. So here's the frame. It's not full cap, but it's oh, mostly so, easier, okay? Oh, the frame is like that small, isn't it? Yeah. I used to think it's like a big frame, like like a long. Oh, oh there are bigger ones. Okay. So like if you have in your hive, you have bigger ones that are deeper. They're like up mm. like this much. But for the honey, you use smaller ones because they're pretty heavy. So we're going to take these and we're going to start. So you going to put it here like this. Okay, yeah. So oh. this is the second step, huh? Yeah, this is the second step. And I'm trying to do all the light. I believe that most of this is sourwood honey. Mm -hmm. so. Good. And now we'll swing around. And you can see big and you can and when it gets stuck you can kind of there scrape it off there. Oh, shall I hold it up? This is quite a process, huh? <laughs> it is. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, look at that honey. My dad had bees when I was growing up, but I don't remember all this. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. Did you help him with the extracting? I don't remember, actually. Yeah, I think uh, oh, so so much. we'll do is we'll do. So what makes you think it's sourwood? Um, because of the time of the year mm -hmm. that the bees were uh, bringing in honey, they were gro like packing it in, mm -hmm. and the sourwoods were blooming. Mm -hmm. And I could tell because there's some trees actually around our yard, and mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of watching the flowers and seeing what color the the blossoms mm -hmm. were. So, um, so could you tell just by tasting it? If it's you sour? can taste it too. I mean, you... how's it going, Maroon? Good. I like it actually. It's so what, are, like, what are you doing? I'm just scraping this uh, and opening this uh, hole. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you can see this side. Let's see how this closes. Mm -hmm. I just learned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Swing it over and place it right. And there's room for six in there, so mm -hmm. now... You have to hold this tire before this fly off. <laughs> <laughs>
You think all honey came? I don't think, huh? Oh, must be. Let's take a look. Some of them are really light, you can tell. See how light oh, that have, is? Oh, yeah. Man, that got all the way out. That's yeah. Beautiful. It looks still nice and clean. Yeah. It is. Well, the bees will finish up all the secret. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the next step to drain the honey. Wow. Wow, look wow. at that goodies. <laughs> So we think this is sour good honey? I do, mm -hmm. I do think so. No, that was just 12. That was just 12, 12 frames, wow. yeah. That we did. Well, only 12 frames. Pretty good honey, eh? Pretty good amount of honey in two. Yeah. No, it's sour with common every year. Oh, okay. Oh, it's pretty, uh, this is pretty good battery, like big battery. Yeah, big battery. It lasts about mm -hmm. a month. And so, what? What we do is like we have a crane inside and it snaps onto that little piece right here. Hmm. And then it's got like a tackle so you can kind of pull it over. Okay, so you... And you like hmm. pull it over so it kind of helps the. And then I would drag the boxes hmm. and put it in a wheelbarrow. Hmm. So. So here's the honey bees. All the bees yeah, be, don't stand right in front of them. Oh. I, I have done, I have got stung so many times. So. Here's the bee. Okay, so how many bees are there you think? I'd say with this time of year, it's probably about 40,000 bees per hive. Wow. Yeah. So how many hives do you have? I've got two hives. So it means 80,000 bees. Yeah, wow. 80,000 bees. Wow. In the height of the summer, it can be up to like 60,000. Because uh, the queen lays um, 2,000 eggs per day. One queen? One queen, yeah. Wow. Each hive. So, 2,000 eggs per day? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and then she slows down her laying. Um, by winter, she just kind of stops completely, takes a break. And wow. then, you know, it starts to build back up from February, March, April until the height of the season in the summer. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's great. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, look at, if you see just here, like two hives just right there. And we seeing the honey, like so much honey inside, like it just like you know. Well, began my mind. I was thinking, oh, there's like must be hives, like you know, all over the place. Like then you get like that much honey. Because I never have seen like in like you know. I only see like in the trees, you know, how they like make like honey cone yeah, was like. like yes, hives, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of see some of them have a uh, little pollen on the back of their legs. You can see some of them, they come in, they've got like little yellow balls in their legs. So that is the pollen? Yes, yeah, the pollen they gather. Oh, wow. And so some of the bees in the hive are pollen gatherers, some of them collect nectar. They all have different jobs. Oh, wow. And then some of them um, are nurse bees, they take care of the, the young baby bees. And some of them are the corners and they clean out, you know, like the wow, dead ones. Like, so it's really neat. Everyone so you has need a job. All, all kind of bees. You just don't need like one bee who's only lay eggs or you need like all cleaning bee and you know? Well, they kind of go through, they like, they graduate. So when they first hatch, then they are the cleaners. And oh. then they start being the nurse bees and they take care of the baby bees. And then by the end of their life, they get to be foragers. And so oh, they wow. go and they can, you know, collect nectar or collect pollen or, or, propo or resin for making propolis. And um, mm. then they usually die. In the wow. summer, their lifespan's like six weeks long. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the bee, how long they live? Like, do you know, like, the one bee life, like maybe one year? 
Well, the queen bee is the only one that lasts the longest, and she can live up to five years long. Mm -hmm. But summer bees only last, like, okay. they live for six weeks. But mm -hmm. winter bees are a little bit different, mm -hmm. and they, um, they have, like, different fat stores, and they're different uh, physically. And they can actually last. They're they're made to last until the whole of winter, so about four or five months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, well, the bees are like so important, like for us, you know, for environmental, like. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you don't have bees, you don't have anyone to pollinate your garden. Mm -hmm. You I know. know yeah. um, and it's. I mean, just having them around, like I think it's a real. Um, all the neighbors love it. They they can't. They, I saw some bees hiding out in my pond, and they were drinking the water. Or some said, I saw some of your honeybees on my cucumbers. And so it's neat to have, you know, the neighbors being, you know, they're kind of close to us. They're not too yeah. far away, but they, you know, they appreciate them. And I always try to give them a jar of honey too. Uh, so just to say thanks. I know uh, we have stinging insects around. But, yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. all the info. I really so many things I'm learning like first time. Yeah. You know. I know some very bit but not like detail like you know, like you know. Yeah, it's kind of I mean I was like when I first started beekeeping I just read so many books and I went to all these bee meetings yeah. and so I learned a lot and it's yeah. really helped me I think the biggest thing that it helped me was to kind of see beekeeping as a way to appreciate each season yeah. and you know knowing oh this is the time when the flowers are blooming and, and you know mm. spring is coming and it's like a different uh, it just makes me appreciate mm. like the seeing the year through beekeeping eyes you know, know. like so. how like God created like you know yeah. everything for us like so like perfect way perfectly you know how like everything works so perfect like natural thing yeah. work perfectly yeah it's you know? true it's like his creation is so perfect you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's amazing how intricate and how like detailed you know god was in creating things I know. so that they could they worked perfectly 